Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Tracy. I'm back for another video. And for today's video, we're not going to do unboxing. Yes, no unboxing video for today. I'm going to show you my current bag. The bag what I'm currently using. Yes, <laughs> this is the bag. And I'm going to show you what fits inside. And also, I'm going to show you I use a bag organizer for this particular bag and why so if you want to see more of this bag please keep on watching but before we start welcome I'm Tracy I do bag unboxing videos sometimes first impression review videos and once in a while I do upload vlog videos if you happen to like my channel, please consider subscribing. And for all who already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back. So, let's proceed to our video. This is the bag I'm currently using. This is from Coach. This is the duffel bag. I think they came out with a duffel 20, which is smaller. But this one is, the name says duffel bag. This is in the color Flax. This shoulder strap doesn't come with this bag so let's remove this one for now and then i'll show you what comes with this bag so it comes with an adjustable shoulder strap it can be used as a crossbody not really long crossbody but it can be used as a crossbody for me so I, um i'm 5 8 i was able to wear this crossbody so this one has five grommets on the adjustment this comes with a pewter hardware oh you can hear my our dog walking so please don't mind our dog walking or else i will not be able to film our house is tiny <laughs> any little sound you can hear it so yes let's proceed so this bag has this zipper opening zipper closure that comes with a tassel look at that look at the detail on this zipper opening i like that it um it is partly a charm on this side of the bag it has a tiny d-ring which is supposed to have a hang tag a 1941 hang tag piece is missing so i called customer service for that and they said it's either return the bag or exchange it but there, there's no guarantee that I will get the same color. Purchase this from Coach Outlet. This is a boutique bag. This is part of the 1941 collection, but then then shipped to the outlet website. So this bag is made of gloved and pebbled leather. At the bottom of this bag, you can see it says they're gloved and um, pebbled leather. If you look around this bag, you don't mm, really see the brand. The only giveaway, if I have the hang tag, then it has a horse and carriage. But other than that, you wouldn't know this is a coach bag. This bag can be heavy. Like, even if it's empty, it has a good weight to it already. I have been using this because of the color. It's fall season and... With this color, it's a perfect bag for fall. The shoulder strap has a substantial lobster clasp, as you can see. It adds to the heaviness of the bag as well. You can see that it weighs down the side. Like if I let go, you can see the bag drooping just like that because of the weight of the clasp. So let's open the bag so you can see what's inside. The inside of the bag looks like so. I'm going to show you what I have inside my bag. So it has a 1941 canvas and it has a snap closure pocket on one side and then there's a zipper pocket on the other side with a coach print. The zipper pocket is big enough to fit my, my hand and also the snap closure pocket it's big enough to fit a phone yep my phone can fit in there so let's start with what i have in my bag for the slip pocket part i have my id yes i have my id there i have my mask and 
I have received. This is my Macy's return receipt from my from my Michael Kors purchase. I have these hair ties. Because when I go to work, sometimes I forget my hair tie. At least I have a spare one because I have to put my hair on a bun at work. I just have the silica gel. And that's it for my pocket. For the zipper pocket, I don't have anything in there. As at all. Yeah, I don't put anything in there. Now, let's see what I have there for my main bag. It's hard. <laughs> The, the bag keeps on slouching. As you can see, I have a bag organizer. So I'm just going to pull this organizer because it will be hard for us, for me to show you what's inside this bag because it keeps on like folding open, folding, slouching. So this is the organizer I'm using. I bought this organizer from Amazon. It's from the brand Pelicus. And I bought this for my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. This is a perfect size for this duffel, so I'm using it right now for this one. Before we go over this part, this bag has a what do you call that? Like a you can hook your keys or your wallet in here so you can have like easy access. So, what I did is I connect my Tory Birch wallet, which has my driver's license and my um, most used card so when I go to the grocery it's an easy way to find my wallet so that when I need to open this bag I, I just have to pull it and it's already out because this bag is heavy the leather itself is heavy it tends it's harder to find your items inside without it slouching this is the bag without the organizer <laughs> so let's go over to what's inside my organizer. I have here my Ray-Ban eyeglass case. So I have here a hair clip. Looks like that. I got that from TJ Maxx. I have a coin purse from Coach. What's inside this one is my headset for my iPhone. I don't normally use a headset but just in case. I have it ready. I have my power bank. I have here my mini pochette. This is my catch-all like for like mirror, lipstick, napkin. My new to me lipstick which I'm loving is this Buxom lipstick. It's in the color I think Popstar I guess that's the name of the color. I'm not sure but I like it. I like the color I'm wearing it right now. Yeah, so that's the color of the lipstick. Loving this color. Initially, when I first use, start using this one, it gives a tingling sensation, but not anymore. <laughs> it doesn't do that anymore on my lips. So yes, that's my catch-all bag. I have here my Coach wallet. can't remember the name, but this can be a wristlet. It has good amount of like card compartment i like this wallet because it has two zipper compartment where i can put my receipts and then the other one is for cash don't put a lot of cards in here but the part i like the most is these two um zip compartment and then i have my neutrogena hydro boost hand cream I have my cord for my power bank. <laughs> Few more. My mint, you know. I love my mint. So I have it there handy anytime I like it. Okay. It's just my sticky note from when I called PayPal about a dispute I have to file. And then I have here a card. Oh, this is a card from one of our students. So She's done with her rotation at work, so she gave us a note with a love letter, and I'm not going to show you. And then she gave us a gift card from Starbucks. That's a first. Like for all the students who did their rotation uh, at my work, this is the first time we receive a card from a student. 
so yes that's it that's all I have inside my bag so the reason why I want to film this is because I want to show you how I use this bag because before I started using this I don't I don't use an organizer so this is what the bag looks like when it's empty see how slouchy it is I like the slouch though don't don't get me wrong I like it this leather is heavy and plus the hardwares are heavy so it tends to like slouch like that if I put my stuff in here without the organizer I went to the store and then trying to pay and look for my wallet it's hard it's hard to I mean it's a little cumbersome to find your stuff in here without the organizer so let's put it back in here so at least you have an idea so without the organizer it looks like this it's still slouchy and then when you open it up like everything inside is like jumbled yeah like it's everything inside looks jumbled no organization before i was planning to use only the long wallet but then I'm having a hard time taking it out and putting it back in. So I decided just get another card case and hook it here. So that every time I go to the grocery and need my wallet, it's easier access. And then I remember I have a purse organizer. So I tried it on and I like it. But initially the purse organizer I tried here is this one. This is from Amazon. But this one is more like a thicker material compared to the pellicles. So when I tried it on this bag, you will see like so structured. Like you see the corners of the bag. I'll show it to you. So if I put that organizer in here, you can see the corners of the organizer. Which is, I don't like. I got this bag because I like the slouchy look. But then it becomes too <laughs> boxy. I don't like that look that's why I tried this one and this is the perfect thickness on the purse organizer and then I have here a Samorga organizer this is the thinner one the newer like 1.2 millimeter one and I tried it on this bag this doesn't work because it's too soft so the weight on the bag just like fold everything basically this organizer is just not to get the bag dirty but not the organization part um, unlike this one even if the bag is heavy the bag doesn't uh, put weight on this organizer compared to this one which is so soft it just folds in yeah basically my bag looks like that inside when I try this on so that's a no-no so the pellicles probably the two millimeter Samorga would be better that's it for what's inside my bag and what organizer I use. I'm going to show you this piece. This is a shoulder strap from my tabby. From that tabby? Yes. It has the brass hardware. I kind of played with this bag because when I was trying to use... When I first used this bag and we went to the grocery, it's kind of annoying. Like wearing it as a shoulder bag it's too flimsy yeah it's too flimsy like when i'm doing my stuff and going to the grocery and finding stuff it gets in the way i can't explain how i just don't know how to explain what how but yeah it gets annoying so i said like i need something like a more structured or stiff shoulder bag that i can use for this bag that will be easier to wear it so this is my solution yeah if it's a brass hardware and it's not a pure hardware it's okay i like the look it's black on black so it's okay with this strap wearing this bag feels way better this is comfortable i don't yeah i don't feel any discomfort wearing this and plus i keep this long shoulder strap just in case i need to wear it as a crossbody bag and if I need to keep my hands free I like 
this sturdy enough when I need to grab it. It's easy compared to the flimsy shoulder strap. If I need it, it's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. I think that's what I was thinking about sharing with you about this bag. Um, if you have questions, please let me know and I'll answer it on the comment section below. So I hope you like this video for today. What bag I'm currently using. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you get updated every time I upload a new video. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye!